There is nothing still in Stillwater, Oklahoma tonight. Turn it up loud! It's Saturday night, the home opener for the eighth-ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys, and it promises to be a frenzy of excitement as Louisiana's raging Cajuns take their best shot at stopping one of the most powerful scoring machines in the nation. Brandon Wheat, 34 touchdown passes last year. Justin Blackman, Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year. The Raging Cajuns invade the Cowboys' domain. Get ready for the fireworks. College football is next. threw for a school record 4,277 yards last year. And the scary part about him was last year was his first year as a starter, and he's back again. He said, this year, watch my eyes. I'm going to be able to manipulate defenders all game long. He has a great confidence about him. He will turn 28 years old on October 14th. Former pro baseball player who joined OSU in 2007. Whedon going right to the air, going downfield, was looking for his main man. That's Justin Blackman, the junior from Ardmore, Oklahoma. Starting lineups brought to you by KFC. Adcock is an All-American candidate on that right side. You see the receivers. Cooper had 68 catches last year, and Anium is an outstanding receiver but was injured much of last season. A very short gain up past the 20 yard line. Catch is made by Tracy Moore the junior from Tulsa. KFC starting lineups for the defense Derek Dean the man in the middle they will need him to stuff the run the linebackers Devin Lewis Buchanan the defense 3 4 designed for him White and Bentley are excellent cornerbacks. On third down short. They may have the first down as edging across the 30 yard line is Joseph Randall who takes over for the great Kendall Hunter who's now with the San Francisco 49ers and Hunter last year Yogi went for over 1500. Well you think Oklahoma State and you think all they do is throw but the fact is they led the Big 12 in rushing three of the last four years. Hunter a big reason why Randall and Smith they're two talented running backs. Whedon to the air. Completes the pass. A big gain. Past midfield near the 40 yard line. Tracy Moore. This is exactly what Brandon Whedon can do. He can fit footballs in tight space. An incredible throw by him on the over route. He fits it right in there. Moore catches it and gets up the field. And this up tempo offense is going. 39 yards on the play. Whedon to the right just threw it away because his target was well covered. Whedon with time completes the pass. Justin Blackman gets the first down inside the 25 yard line. He had a school record 1,782 yards receiving last year on an amazing 111 receptions. You know, and everyone wants to know, are Wheaton and Blackman's numbers going to be as well as they were last year? It's going to be hard because there's so much attention on these two players, but Wheaton will find him given the opportunity. Listed at 6'1", 215, he looks bigger. Randall tries the middle, up the middle to the 10, spinning to the 8-yard line. First and goal for the Cowboys. Whedon the quarterback, Randall behind him. Play action. Brandon goes left, incomplete. Now second and goal. Randall straightened up and he'll lose two yards. Now on third and goal. Blitz is on. Whedon unloads incomplete. And it'll be a field goal try. This will be from 27 yards out. Right hash mark. Field goal attempt is on the way and good. And Oklahoma State, one of the highest scoring teams in the nation one year ago, has their first three of 2011. Jay 
remains the quarterback getting the start over Chris Mason. Blitz is on. Goche eludes the man, throws it. It's intercepted at the 40 yard line. And bringing it back is Markel Martin. Another big play. Great job by avoiding the defender right there by Goche. But they drop a defensive back in coverage. He steps right in front of the wide receiver. And he has the interception down the sideline. We see Martin go. 26 yards. He had three picks last year. Whedon back on offense. Now with great field position to start things. At the Louisiana 34 they'll run the football this time it's Randall up the middle and this is a guy who's the perimeter back and he's looking like Kendall Hunter in space. Well they want to pound the football they know if they want to take a run at a BCS bowl game they've got to be physical up front and you see in between the tackles lowering the shoulder and getting those extra tough yards. He's only 193 pounds third down and three. They give it to Randall again. He finds an opening. Through to the 15. Randall to the 5. This offensive line of Oklahoma State returns five starters, and they put a body on a body, and all of a sudden there's movement at the line of scrimmage, and we see Randall take it down inside the 5. Six carries for 48 yards. Now they may go to Jeremy Smith. Yes, as Randall goes to the sideline, Smith had seven touchdowns rushing. He's more of the inside back, and he will get the call, the carry, bowls his way to the two, and spins near the one. They do. This time he spins away, but can't get much, and he'll lose two yards. An excellent defensive play. Sweep left, cut back, touchdown! Joseph Randall. Randall was so excited to be the starter in this offense so he can make plays like this when his team counts on him. He presses the hole to the left, cuts back inside, touchdown Oklahoma State. Sharp on to try and make it 10-0. He does, dead solid perfect. Goche giving it up. This is Brad McGuire who doubles as an H back. He can play fullback. He can play quarterback. And he sweeps the left side. And there's Martin again for the tackle. This defense, they do not do a lot. You will not see Oklahoma State pressure from a variety of different positions. They will play a base 4 3 defense, man to man outside. And they want those safeties involved in the run game. Now Goche over the center. He gives it up. This is Brad McGuire. A little razzle dazzle here. Wide open is Louisiana's Javon Lawson. McGuire doubles as a quarterback. We told you he had a 300 yard game last year against Ohio passing. Well, when you talk to the staff earlier this week, they said he is their best overall player. He is the model football player for this program. He is tough, he is physical, and he makes plays right there. A 43 yard completion down the sideline. That's why he was offsides. Caleb Levy, the middle linebacker, tries to get inside. There is a flag down as there is some movement on the left side of that line. It's the tight end on the right side now. They'll give it to Harris, the freshman, who sweeps the left, gets to the 10, and muscles his way near the nine yard line. Trailing 10 0. Harris gets near the five. Play action pass. Goche throws. Almost intercepted. 
Bayer from 23 yards out near the left hash mark on the way and good Louisiana on the scoreboard remember last year the Raging Cajuns led 21 17 at half and that's when Whedon and Blackman took over and you've seen it all day in college football if you leave teams hanging around give them an opportunity a program like Louisiana well it may just come up and bite you this team is hanging out there are not going to lay down. First team all Big 12 last year. Three times he threw for over 400 yards in a game, had seven 300 yard games. He says this preseason has been completely different. Last year, nobody knew him. This year, everybody does. They'll run the football and darting towards that right side. Is that young? Yes, it is Jeremy Smith, the sophomore from Tulsa. Sets Randall off to the left and Joseph with the catch and slips by past the 30 yard line. Let's take a look at our touch of gray first quarter stats. Pretty impressive by both teams coming out and playing sound not exploding on offense for either one of these programs but they're just kind of finding their way through this first program and Oklahoma State leading the way with 115 total yards on offense. And one turnover for Louisiana that led to the touchdown. It was an interception by Devin Hedgepath. I gave it to Markel Martin, number 10, rather than 18. It, that, that orange on gray can be deceiving, so I apologize for that. Tracy Moore with the catch for a first down to the 40 yard line. Justin Blackman with only one catch for 11 yards. Whedon whips it to the right and completes it and that is Justin Blackman's second catch. They get it back to Blackman. They wiggles free gets the first down. So three catches now for Justin. And when you're Justin Blackman you want to play so badly because you just want to continue to prove yourself time and time and time again especially when you're a competitor like he is. He was just itching for this game every so often with big time performers see they need to settle into a game. OSU quickening their tempo. They'll run the football as Randall ran for 51 yards in the first quarter. Now they're going with Jeremy Smith. Waiting looking to dump it off. They don't get much here. Randall in the backfield. Whedon slips it inside. They get the first down. Now he's going very quick. It's almost like they're using these short passes to open up their, their big game. Whedon had a great game at Louisiana last year with five touchdown passes. Now he gets to Randall short gain of about four or five yards. Whedon gives it to Joseph and he hammers his way forward. He will be short of the first down by about two yards. Now it'll be third down and short. So Oklahoma State and Mike Gundy has to love these third and short because all of a sudden it keeps that three four defense guessing by Louisiana. Long two yards for a first down. Whedon will hand the football off. Cutting back right. This is Jeremy Smith. Man, he is a little like Kendall Hunter. He'll see that gap and just slide through. Well, they're incredible athletes in the backfield here for Oklahoma State. And Coach Gundy talked about it yesterday. It's not about one particular player. It's about the group and breeding competition within that running back group. And they had that the past few years. And they're showing it right now to kick off 2011. First down at the 16. Whedon with time down the middle. Catch is made at the goal line. And then the ball is on the floor. But I believe Tracy Moore was down near the one yard line. Let's see where they mark it. Tracy Moore just runs a simple in route. You see Whedon staring him down, drills it right at his helmet. A great catch. The ground caused the fumble Steve they're going to be down right around the one yard line remember every play is reviewed up in the booth as Brandon Whedon completes a big time pass over the middle. Let's see if Whedon goes to Jeremy Smith he's their inside runner they do give it to Smith he smashes the middle and scores for the Aggies. Off 
offensive coordinator Todd Monk and wanted to come to Mike Gundy's staff to prove that he can be a big time coordinator. And that all starts with the running attack behind five returning offensive linemen and the running back finding the crease, diving in the end zone. Jeremy Smith puts six on the board. Sharp for the point after. Oklahoma State 17, Louisiana 3. Cowboys showing you why they're the number eight team in the nation. He is 11 for 17, 122 yards. And now they'll run the play to Joseph Randall, who's nearing the 100 yard rushing mark already in the first half. Louisiana did not pressure on that snap, opened up a huge hole. You can see it on the right side of your screen. Randall puts that right foot in the ground, follows the lead blocker. No one near him because they are putting a body on a body, getting great downfield blocking from those wideouts. Joseph's Randall's best game was 95 yards rushing. Did that against Texas Tech. And he's having a heck of a game with 82 yards on 10 carries, averaging over 85 now on 11 carries, averaging 8 yards per carry, and nearing his career best in game one of 2011. Whedon, play action, whips it to the right. Blackman with the catch inside the 15 yard line. Says, bring it on, fans. And the fans love him. You want to get him involved. Justin Blackman, a nice job, a simple route, a hitch on the outside. He is so quick on his transition. And even though he does not have a ton of yards, a touchdown yet tonight, he is drawing two and three defenders every snap. Smith back in as the running back. Play action to Jeremy. Down the middle we go. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Josh Cooper. Delivers a seam route and a strike at that. In between the safeties, big touchdown. The first person to come celebrate is Justin Blackman, number 81. Always exciting when that receiving core just continues to pick each other up time and time again. They've done it tonight with the backups. They really believe that Cooper is perfect for their offense. He's almost like Wes Welker when Wes was with Miami. Wasn't a great wide receiver, but as soon as he moved to the slot, he came great. And that's Cooper in this offense for Oklahoma State. Whedon now 13 for 19, 154 yards. He goes downfield and throws the completion to Justin Blackman who then slips and falls inside the 30 but has the first down. Moten was the closest defender near him. That was a great job by quarterback Brandon Whedon. Watch him standing in the pocket. This is what he's going to do at the next level. Make throws in chaos. That's what he did and that's where his game has truly improved this offseason. Blackman now with four catches for 51 yards. They throw it to him. He escapes to the right side and is knocked out of bounds near the 12. Five catches now for Justin. He had a 13 catch game last year in Louisiana for over 190 yards. You talk to the coaches, offense or defense, it doesn't matter. They said he just oozes confidence, and that goes over to all the other players on this program. More in motion. Oklahoma State gets inside the five very close to a first down and this is what they want if you can get a roll and run the football find your receivers throw a couple seam routes this offense is beginning to click right now here with about six and a half minutes left in the second quarter he has just tied his career best 95 yards rushing now for Joseph Randall very good replacement for Kendall Hunter Randall big hole he's in touchdown his second of the night. You've got to be happy if your offensive coordinator Todd Monk and of how physical your offense is playing. They are simply pounding the football, distorting any type of read that Louisiana defenders can get. And their running backs are all finishing going forward right there for another six points. 
for the offensive coordinator a new one and Todd Monken has to really be pleased because he's told his kids last night we want effort confidence believe in what you do and they have been terrific as Oklahoma State is up on Louisiana 31 to 3. It's intercepted. Bill Bentley with the interception down the sideline. He will score the touchdown. Stillwater that combination is Whedon to Blackman although this time it's intercepted Bill Bentley with the interception down the sideline he will score the touchdown <laughs> 36 yards on the interception return Bill Bentley he's a captain talked to him earlier this week he said he couldn't wait for the opportunity to show people who this program is, what this defense can do. He is the only bona fide NFL prospect on this defense right now as a senior. Look at his incredible ball skills with the interception to the house. Great pay play by Bill Bentley. Bears kick is good. Joseph Randall in the backfield, number one. Whedon will get sacked near the 35, so it's a loss of about five on the play. Only one timeout remaining, and there's a few cardinal rules in the two-minute offense. Number one is no sacks, and right there, that was a big mistake for Brandon Whedon, but a big-time play by Smith in that defense. Bernard Smith, the senior from Atlanta, Georgia, will stay in that 3-4 defense. Rush three, then bring a late blitz. This is Randall, and Randall... Up close to a first down needed to get to the 50 so Joseph has his first 100 yard rushing game in his career he had 98 yards prior to that run and that went for 15 yards so give him 113 gets it again first down I like their offensive line. And they are a physical bunch on the offensive side remember in college football that clock does stop when they get a first down. They are resetting it right now. Randall out, Smith in. Whedon looking downfield, swings it right. Beautiful catch at the 36 yard line. After further review, the player did not keep possession inbounds. Incomplete pass. Second down. Justin Bachman, far side left. Play action. Whedon looking deep. He's got Blackman out there and he makes the catch. Oh my, what a play. But when in doubt, throws to number 81. He gets behind the defense. Shockingly, you allow 81 to get deep, get it behind you. But again, this is why he's an All-American, the reigning Bolitnikov winner, Final wide receiver. State. Final charge of the half. And again. Stevie goes over 100 yards to keep the streak alive. Seven catches, 127 yards, and we're only in the first half. And I'll tell you what, it's it's a quiet 127 yeah. yards up until that last play. He is not trying to do anything special. I don't think Todd Mockett's forcing the football to him. He's playing within the offense, catching a hitch, catching a hook, catching a seam route, and then boom, right down the sideline, Justin Black. And probably Mike Gundy's wife will say, hey, that was a heck of a call to end that first half. <laughs> he says, yeah, throw it up to him. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That might be the last time we see him, too. Interesting to see how much he plays in this second half. They will go for the field goal. They will come from 22 yards out. Quinn Sharp. And Mike Gundy has to feel the way, good about the way they executed that. So little time on the clock. They push the field goal through. And it is a teaching moment for Oklahoma State as Justin Blackman, the All-American candidate, seven catches, 127 yards. He was last year's Bolitnikoff Award winner and played like one in the first half here in Stillwater. yards rushing a career best for Randall, and he'll try him again. Not much there. Now it'll be third down and two. Would you take a shot? 
Now Justin Blackman put him on the scoreboard. He has eight catches for 144 yards and he's still on the field. Well, I think right now you're going to want to continue to pound the football. You've had a lot of success up front on third and short. Get a first down, give yourself a fresh set, and then I'm taking a shot to 81 down the field. He's on the right side. Safety plays the middle, so single coverage against 81. They'll run the ball, and Randall doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage, so he'll be fourth down and about three. And this is the third time in the third quarter that Oklahoma State has gotten inside the 30-yard line, come away with no points right now as they kick as they attempt a the field goal. And terrific play by outside backer Devin Lewis Buchanan, the 6'2 senior from Riviera Beach, Florida. So Sharp comes on. This will be his longest field goal attempt of the night, coming from 46 yards out. He has it on the way well long enough and it is good. We've seen a lot of those cramps in the state of Texas in games and in Oklahoma because of this high heat with high humidity. We certainly saw a lot in the Baylor upset over TCU on both sides last night. Go Che. Oh man he is hit hard. That was more than a cramp there. Again it's Martin number 10. Just driving right through. They, 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 they call it playing inside out. That's exactly what this strong safety is doing. He's reading it inside out. And you'll watch him just to deliver a blow right there on the quarterback, right to his thigh as Goche came up limping. Goche, 5 of 14 for 18 yards passing. Second down, nine yards to go. Play action. He has time. And wings it downfield for a first down. Andrew Joseph with a couple of catches tonight. He had 22 last year. He was third in the team in receiving. And that's his longest completion of the night right now. You've got to take a few more shots like that down the field. Ladarius Green is covered. They drop it right over the top to Joseph for a nice gain and a first down. Almost cross and miss midfield for Louisiana. Quinn Griffin is now in the game. The running back who was... Mr. Football for the state of Mississippi last year and they really feel like Louisiana stole this top athlete. Play action. Downfield they go. Incomplete right in the hands of Lawson and that's another thing that Coach Hutchbeth was talking about. Too many drop passes in the first half continuing now in the second half. Complete at the 42 yard line very close to a first down. Spikes tries the middle and slides forward inside the 40 yard line. Aaron has been sharing that role tonight with the two freshmen. They get it to Surgeon. He gets the first down needed to get to the 33 and that is where the Markham's we may have a measurement here. No they're giving him the first down. Goche throws it away. We see a late flag. Intentional grounding, number 17. Who? Lost it down to the spot of the foul. Well, apparently, and he was down. not outside that tackle box. Or a wide split. Sometimes you'll see from teams like Nebraska. Goche is going to go down. And they got to him on the blitz. It was James Thomas, the linebacker. They don't do a lot defensively, but when they do bring pressure, it's impressive. You see the twist up front. Defensive end goes inside. It opens up for your backer on the outside to make a big time play. You see it right there as he just relentlessly gets after the quarterback. James Thomas, the senior, very impressive. In their 4-3 defense, their outside backers are really speed guys. James Thomas is a converted safety. He's only 5'11", 215, but flies to that football. Sean Lewis, maybe their best linebacker, 5'11, 220. Go chase downfield, he goes, and we might have pass interference here. Yes, we will. They will place the football at the 31 yard line. Oklahoma State's defense trying to bow their necks, keep Louisiana out of the end zone. They run it. 
This is the freshman Griffin. He has great speed to the outside. And Griffin to the 10, where it's first down. Raging Cajuns. You can see the life that these young playmakers are bringing to this Louisiana offense. A simple inside run and a zone read. You cut it back door for a gain of 21. Puts his head down. Kind of looks like Ron Dane back in the day, the Heisman Trophy winner at Wisconsin. Barreling his way. This true freshman goes 5'11", 225. They'll give it to him again. Win this time is halted by Jamie Blatnick. Doche keeps it. Look who read it. My goodness, it was Sean Lewis. He was the freshman All-American and Big 12 co-defensive freshman of the year last season. They swing it to the right. Incomplete. Out of bounds. Defensive support by Justin Gilbert, the sophomore from Huntsville, Texas. It puts it in the place. Green goes up and grabs the football. A great play by that safety over the top of being physical and attacking the football. Safe, clean play, breaking it up. They tell DB, shoot your hands to the receiver's hands. That's exactly what happened right there. That's the young free safety, Daytuan Lowe, who started as a nickel last year as a freshman, now a sophomore. He could steal that job from Thomas, who's ineligible. Here is the point after, or excuse me, the field goal attempt. It is up. And it is good. This is a team that's in very good shape. Whedon stays in the game, flips it downfield. The catch is made and racing with that football. Justin Horton, the tight end. They don't throw to the tight end very often. Human is one tight end. Justin Horton is the backup tight end. Last year, they didn't even use a tight end in their offensive scheme. Watch Wheaton's eyes right there. Manipulate the defense. A quick look to his right. He sucks out the outside linebacker and finds the tight end right down the seam. You look at Horton racing inside the five. 56 yards. There's a flag down. On the run up the middle by Oklahoma State's Jeremy Smith. Illegal block below the way. Offense number 14. 15 yard penalty. Still first down. Slings it down the field. Catch is made. Touchdown Oklahoma State. Tracy Moore. Brandon Whedon again an incredible job with his eyes to suck the defense up and find more behind the linebackers wide open for a touchdown. Exciting day for this wide receiving core. Second touchdown pass for Whedon who's now thrown for 342. And Sharp has another point after touchdown 44 13 with 223. Whedon looks downfield, looks to throw, and throws an interception. It's picked off. Picked up by Moten, and Moten's going to take it to the house. Jamarlis Moten. A 50-yard interception return for a score. Still, Oklahoma State's defense hasn't given up a point. Moe, and this is the first time he's played in a major Division One football game. A transfer from Mississippi Delta Community College. You see Wheaton trying to step up, try to make something out of nothing. Kind of floats it out there. Moten finds the football, makes a move, and finds the end zone. Right now, Brand Wheaton trying a little too hard. And that defense, Louisiana, that secondary is having some fun. Yeah, yeah, Mike Gundy started for four years at quarterback for the Cowboys. He might pull him out aside and say, tell me again, how old are you? <laughs> and and we did say you know giving up a home run when he was a pitcher for the New York Yankees is kind of like throwing an interception. He said you don't feel good but you got to move on and he's got to move on after that poor decision. We've got two seniors at linebacker and of course the true freshman in the middle Trey Johnson. They look downfield they throw the pass incomplete nobody was there. Harrison was well covered by Kelly. And remember, 
Oklahoma State, they had not gone one time in training camp live. That means your timing is just a little bit off because game speed's a little bit different no matter how hard you practice. Coach Gundy talked about how that might be a little bit of a concern. They're trying to work through those little kinks right now. 16 seconds left in the third quarter. Third down. Blitz on, picked up nicely. The pass is complete. First down at the 17 yard line. Tracy Moore. When Brent Witten can stand in the pocket, he can deliver like any quarterback in America. He is one of the most accurate players you'll see. It's when he has pressure on him that he's made a few mistakes tonight. Moore having a heck of a game. He now has seven catches for 113 yards. We are through three quarters in Stillwater, Oklahoma. He whips it downfield. Catch is made. Touchdown, Michael Harrison. That is the type of explosive arm that Brandon Whedon has. A great catch by Harrison, but you'll see Whedon. He just leans back like he's throwing a fastball, Steve, and delivers a strike right here on the poster. Watch him just wait back and whoo. Drills it the only place you could throw it Harrison goes upstairs makes a big time catch He is the guy who they call the second most competitive receiver behind Blackman 51 points for Oklahoma State 29 wins the last three seasons are the most victories in school history in a three-year span Goche getting the call over Mason They'll Pitch it out to Quinn Griffin, the freshman from Batesville, Mississippi. Arizona will be next for Oklahoma State. Cowboys might start resting some of their guys because that game is this coming Thursday, so they'll only have a few days to prepare. And they lost that heartbreaking game to the Sooners, 47-41. Goche rolling out left. Tries to run it. Goche to keep it. Slides forward. Not close enough for the first down. Needed to get to the 40. So it will be third down and short. Goche fires. Completes. First down. Now past the 45 yard line. Where does this great football talent come from? I mean, you have two major cities in Tulsa and Oklahoma City. They produce a lot, but the small towns produce plenty as well. Here's Goche throwing. And you've got the number one and number eight football teams in America coming from this small state. You look at that Oklahoma State defense, you're looking at Missouri City, Texas, Keller, Texas, Huntsville, Texas, Wichita Falls, Houston. 31 point lead for Oklahoma State nearing the 11 minute mark. Game one of the 2011 season for both of these schools. Alonzo Harris, not much. Goche finally with time throws underneath Jamal Robinson on the catch. The defense fans has not given up any touchdowns. Both Louisiana scores came on interceptions of Brandon Whedon passes. Goche keeps it and gets a healthy gain near the 12 yard line. Play action rolling left dumps it off completes the pass. And uh, we've got that football all the way down there as Jacob Maxwell. They've thrown it to Maxwell and Thompson on this drive the backup tight ends. They feel the tight end position is the one with the most depth on the entire team and they're showcasing that on this long drive right now the 13th play of the drive coming up. First and goal. From the three Goche gives it to Griffin the freshman drives forward. Looks like his forward progress got him to the one then he was pushed back. See if this drive started at the 18 yard line. This is a great job and a great example of what this Louisiana offense can do under new offensive coordinator Jay Johnson and this staff. Louisiana playing for pride right now. They're playing some tough foes early before they get to the Sun Belt. 
Griffin hammered driven back and tries to carry Joe Mitchell the outside linebacker into the end zone. But he's a young man Quinn Griffin two uh, state titles at South Panola High School in Batesville Mississippi extremely physical camp both of these teams had and you can see it right there at the line of scrimmage with Louisiana. Third and goal sneak the surge gets him in. Touchdown for Blaine Goche. 82 yard drive led by 17 Blaine Goche first start of his career where he has the keys of this offense. You see him just put his head down takes a little hesitation step and just pushes that pile forward and he deserves that touchdown Steve. He has been taking licks all night long as he limps off the sideline. He showed tremendous heart on this drive and throughout the evening. And Mark Hudspeth showed patience and faith in him. And that says a lot about the new coach. Remember, he's changing the culture. It's not just about one game with this program, and you're seeing that tonight. Point after touchdown is good by Brett Baer as Oklahoma State continues to control the game, leading 51-27. is out they're bringing in the reliever Clint shell for him but Wheaton had a good start he did and he threw for 388 yards tonight three touchdowns but also three interceptions but he has showed the capability of why he is a Heisen candidate an all-american candidate because he can find his receivers he is extremely accurate he's gonna be the first guy in the film room tomorrow studying this tape looking at yes the good things that he did like passes right there but he's also gonna come back and say well some things I didn't do so well but he finished off on a great note with that touchdown down past to Harrison. Now Clint Shelf hands the football off and look at this on the first carry for the young freshman Desmond Roland, uh, the true freshman from Dallas Lake Highland High School. He flashes his first carry and has a great game. So excited. And the, the best part is the end of that run. You saw him covered up with two hands because he had the fumbles in camp a little bit. You see right now he knows how important it is to protect the football. 30 yards in the carry 179 rushing as a team and he does it again almost another 10 yard carry so his first carry goes for 30 and remember he's the guy right now who is seeing time over Herschel Sims who's like a five star recruit one of their top running back recruits out of Abilene. Oh he is so excited you always remember that first game you're playing as a freshman there's nothing like it in front of this crowd. Two carries, 41 yards. Now they go to the air, and Colton Shelf. <laughs> well, Colton, you're, 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 you're a good relief pitcher so far. We told you Whedon spent four years in the minor leagues. He had a start. He gave up three home runs tonight. <laughs> but he'll be the winning pitcher. Well, the, what you want for your offense, you're going to continue to run your stuff, run or pass, and they're doing that right now. And they are just gashing this young defense of Louisiana who has a lot of their second and third teamers in although Trey Johnson made the tackle and he's the starting middle linebacker. Roland is fresh. Look at those white gloves Steve. Those just look sweet on him right now. The <laughs> freshman out of Dallas. They go with the pants and the helmet. Why not. Forty eight. Nice ensemble. Forty eight combinations. Yeah. They have. From the three Colton. Clint Shelf and Clint hands the football off his brothers Colton the wide receiver. They don't get much here but Shelf gives it up. Ooh, knocked down at the five yard line is Roland. Well, I think they're going to want to run the football. He's more of a dual threat type of guy. You saw that by his high school numbers. He ran for over 700 yards as a senior threw for over 2200 a dominant player but there's going to be some competition next year in the spring for that quarterback position fans excited because their Cowboys will be one and oh after the first week of the season. Whedon excuse me shelf with the pass down the sideline and this is Clint shelf his demeanor and understanding of the offense much improved and he completed that pass to Isaiah Anderson. There might be a battle though next year between Clint Shelf and J.W. Walsh who's a true freshman coming in. Had a chance to spend a week with J.W. Walsh last year at the Elite 11 quarterback competition. J.W. out of Denton Texas. He's got what you would call live feet. 
He is so athletic and explosive when he wants to tuck it and run. I think throwing the football right now, you're going to give the edge to Shell. But their offense, it's going to change one way or the other. Well, Clint looking really strong on this drive and has Oklahoma State with a first down at the 15 yard line as he threw an absolute strike to his target, Charlie Moore. You gotta love how he stood in the pocket right there. I mean, Shelf's only about 5'11, Steve, so he's not six foot four, Brandon Whedon, but he stood tall, delivered the seam route, first down inside the 20. Now they'll run, roll a nice cutback. And the true freshman dives forward inside the 10 yard line. These reps are so important for both of these teams. Oklahoma State is, it's going to be a long season. They're going to have to play their twos. And for Louisiana, they're finding out who can play in their system right now, trying to empty the bench, give everybody a lot of reps so you can evaluate this entire game on film tomorrow. Desmond Rowland with seven carries for 59 yards. They'll give it to him again. Hammer the middle. Dives to the six. He needs to get to the five for a first down. Nearing the three minute mark. And the thing you love, Steve, when you look down on the sideline of Oklahoma State, there's not one player sitting down. They're all standing up, all the starters, because they're excited. This is when the two, second and third teamers, they get their chance to shine in a home game at Boone Pickens Stadium. And this is exciting for everyone in this program. Shelf throws the pass, catch is made, touchdown scored! Isaiah Anderson, that's his first career touchdown. <laughs> Paddle people still here. <laughs> oh, they are excited. Anderson, he had a great camp, the best camp in his career. A simple screen pass right there. Quick release to him. He gets it, beats the corner. Touchdown. You got to love it. The sideline is excited. The paddle people are jacked. The students haven't left. And Stillwater is fired up, Steve, in week one of college football. I like the way the ball comes out of Shelf's hand. He looks extremely smooth. And this is the type of difference that Coach Gundy was talking about yesterday to us. He's so much more confident standing in the pocket. Now it's Mason's turn. Chris wings it out to the left, completes the pass for a short gain. Yobes Walker is the running back. Then they also have to travel to Texas and Missouri this year and Texas Tech, along with going to Ames, Iowa to take on the Cyclones. Across the country in college football at the quarterback position, it's really exciting at the top with the best players. You're talking Andrew Luck, Brandon Whedon, but there's some of those fresh and unfamiliar faces. And Kansas State, they also will finish on December 3rd in one of the great rivalries in college football. And if things happen the way they may this season, Bedlam might be one of the greatest games and hyped up uh, atmospheres in college football definitely in this rivalry's history and Gavin did a tremendous job this week in helping us on the field they go and Chris Mason really looks like he obviously is the better thrower of the two which is the quarterback when go chase a quarterback versus Mason who's just primarily a thrower in this offense Mason swings it out. This is Peoples trying to get into that end zone and goes out of bounds with 23 seconds left. This program is going to compete for championships in their conference, and I don't think it's going to take very long. They run Griffin. Griffin, did he get in? There is the mark. Touchdown, Louisiana. Quinn Griffin. A lot of points tonight. Extra point goes through. 61 for Oklahoma State, 34 for Louisville. Third time in the past two years you guys have scored 60 or more points. You guys win convincingly tonight, but still a few things to work on. Your thoughts on tonight's season opener? Well, I thought our, our defense really played well. Uh, we gave them two touchdowns offensively, and then uh, late we had some young guys in there playing. But overall, I thought our defense kind of led the charge. Offensively, we were really good at times and then kind of sloppy at times. So we got a lot of things to work on. On and continue to get better.